ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு மை ஈஸி ஸ்டாட்டிஸ்டிக்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் பார்ஷல் லிஸ்ட் ஸ்கொயர் ரிக்ரேஷன் யூசிங் எஸ்பிஎஸ்எஸ் பார்ஷல் லிஸ்ட் ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் ஏ ப்ரிடிக்டிவ் டெக்னிக் பார்ஷல் லிஸ்ட் ஸ்கொயர் கம்பைன்ஸ் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிரின்சிபல் காம்போனெண்ட் அனாலிசிஸ் அண்ட் மல்டிபிள் ரிக்ரேஷன் when we do partial least square regression the system generates latent factors that explains the correlation between independent variables and dependent variables the regression equation explains the impact of independent variable on dependent variables for demonstrating partial least square using spss i am taking example of brand preference in this case brand preference is a dependent variable whereas brand awareness attitude towards a brand intention towards a brand and brand loyalty or independent variables we will start execution of the regression <clears throat> for doing we need to do analysis in analysis we go for regression in regression partial least square okay in this preference of brand is selected as dependent variable whereas awareness attitude intention and loyalty are selected as independent variables okay as i already said when we execute this program we are going to get latent factors i am restricting the number of factors as 5 if you want to increase also we can increase the number of latent factors or models that will be generated in the analysis okay now i have some options this option button if i click when i do the program execution i can save estimates for independent individual cases i can save estimates for latent factors and estimates for independent variables when i select this check mark and give a na- label the system will save the predicted values residuals latent factor scores and distance as spss statistical data when i select this check button and i'm giving a name latent factor this option saves latent factor loadings and latent factor weights as spss statistical data we will be seeing some plots of latent factor weights also and this button option will save regression parameter estimates and variable importance to projection we call it as vip as spss statistical data i give a name for this as independent variables okay now i am saying okay the system is running okay yeah 
Now we got the output we can see here independent cases as SPSS data. So this is individual cases as SPSS data, latent factors and independent variables. Before discussing about this data, we will discuss about the output. Okay, we'll discuss one table after another. The first table in this regression is proportion of variance explained. Now the system, actually we have selected latent factors maximum as 10, but system generated four because the variance has become, has here very minute. Okay, we'll discuss one after another. First latent factor one, it is showing a variance of X variance as 46, 0 0.462, which is 46.2%. And Y variance is 0 0.427, which is 42.7. So the total variance explained by independent and dependent variables are for X variance, it is 46.2. For Y variance, it is 42.7. If you see for the second latent factor, it has reduced for X variance. And Y variance it has become 0 0.001. If you see the third latent factor, third model, it is the X variance is explained is still reduced to 0 0.118 and Y variance it is 0 0.002. Still we go for fourth Latin factor, it is still reducing. The system has stopped at that, at that level. So we are going to consider the first Latin factor model where the variance of X variance is 46.2% and Y variance is 42.7. We can see this R square and adjusted R squares also. Right, latent factor 1 is uh, explaining the variance better than the other three uh, latent factors. If you see the second table which is called parameters, which has brand awareness attitude, intention, brand loyalty, which explains the relationship between the independent variables and dependent variables. Dependent variable is brand preference. Independent variables are awareness, attitude, intention, and loyalty. So parameter table explains the association between independent and dependent variables. If we see this table, we'll understand that awareness is having more association with the brand preference than other three variables. The association you can see 0 0.271, whereas the other three are less. So brand preference is having more association uh, with brand awareness. Whereas brand awareness has more impact on brand preference. If you see the next table, variable importance in the projection, which is called as VIP, we'll be seeing this in terms of Latin factor one, two, three, and four. Brand awareness is the most important variable which is 1.277 for all the three latent factors 1 2 3 and 4 if you see brand attitude it is also important factor following brand awareness 1.25 it is 1.249 it is 1.252 okay but if you come for intention intention has reduced and the next brand loyalty is also less. It is 0 0.661. 
pretty much all latent factors are having same type of importance for the variables. So what we understand from this table is brand loyalty, sorry, brand awareness is having more importance in projection of the model followed by attitude, followed by brand loyalty and last is intention. Intention towards a brand has a less projection of brand preference. The first one is brand awareness. If you come for the next table which is called as uh, predictor weights, it shows the association again between brand preference and brand awareness. Brand preference towards attitude, brand preference of intention and brand preference of to brand loyalty. If you see this one, again it is found that all are having positive associations. But if you see latent factor 2, there are 3 independent variables which are having negative association. That is attitude, intention and loyalty is having negative association with brand preference. Same is the case with third one, third latent factor. Again, attitude and intention are having negative association. If you see latent factor four, attitude and loyalty, both are having negative association. As we already discussed, latent factor one is explaining the model better, the association between independent and dependent. So we'll consider this first latent factor. The same thing we can see with the loadings also. Okay. Now let us discuss about the graph. It is all about individual uh, independent variables. We already discussed about uh, variable importance. We can see for the four factors. Attitude and awareness are high. Awareness is more better than attitude. But brand loyalty and intentions are very less preferred. And this actually graph is generated from this data. This database it has taken and that graph is being generated. And next if you see the distribution of individual cases. If you see these regression plots between Y score and X score between 1 and 1 the cases are more distributed but as we move from top left to bottom right there are cases which are getting associated you can see these are getting more correlated the cases are getting more correlated okay this distribution is been drawn from individual cases table this is a table where the diagram was being generated with the help of this database and the next is comparison of latent factors 1 and 2 in this case where we see brand preference with awareness All are positively related. We are comparing between factor weights 2 versus 1. Drawn with latent factor table. This is the latent factor table. This is a table. Where weights are taken and the graph has been drawn. Third one, it is coming to negative. You can see this one. 
attitude and uh, intention they are coming towards negative side but you can see preference awareness and loyalty are to the other side the same thing can be seen if we see the comparison between factor weights 3 and 2 brand preference is at this place brand awareness loyalty the distribution how this way factors have been distributed if we compare between factor weight 3 versus factor weight 2 so this partial least square regression is helpful in understanding the impact of independent variables on dependent variables this case can be more understand better understand with using structural equation modeling you can refer to my other video structure equation modeling using amos part 1 thank you